I'm Kevin Cameron back again here with another little motorcycle tidbit. This is the oil pump from our CBR. It sits under the engine like this with its feed foot down in the oil sump and removing that We have the bare pump itself. I'm going to take these fasteners out and we'll see how the pump works. A lot of people call this a gear rotor pump, but the inventor of it tells us that it is a generated rotor pump, so his acronym is gear rotor. Generated means that they created one of the two parts that this pump consists of and it then generated the shape for the complementary part. Taken off the housing and inside we see this fascinating motion. There's a four lobed inner rotor and a five lobe outer rotor. A gyrotor rotor pump has N lobes on an interior rotor and N plus one on the exterior rotor. As I turn this, you see that this space here is getting bigger. Now it's become as big as it can. Now it's starting to get smaller again. Now another device that moves in a similar fashion is the Vonkel engine. Anything that compresses and expands has some prospects of being turned into a, a hot air engine. But in this case, the housing has an intake side and an exhaust side. The intake goes to the side of the rotor where the space is getting bigger. So it draws in oil. And then it moves over to the other side where this space is getting smaller. That's the delivery side. It sends that oil out to the oil system. First to the filter, then to the main oil gallery, and then onward to its many duties. It's your rotor pump. Invented in 1910, I think. Lovely.